gardens, tombs and forts. In his autobiography, Barber described his interest in planning and laying out formal gardens. placed within rectangular walled enclosures and divided into four quarters by artificial channels. These gardens were called Chaharbarg, four gardens, because of their symmetrical division into quarters. Beginning with Akbar, some of the most beautiful Chaharbargs were constructed by Jahangir and Shah Jahan in Kashmir, Agra and Delhi. There were several important architectural innovations during Akbar's reign. The central towering dome and the tall gateway, Pishtak, became important aspects of Mughal architecture, first visible in Humayun's tomb. The building was constructed with red sandstone, edged with white marble and had a central hall surrounded by eight rooms. The connection between royal justice and the imperial court was emphasized by Shah Jahan in his newly constructed court in the Red Fort at Delhi. Shah Jahan adapted the riverfront garden in the layout of the Taj Mahal, the grandest architectural accomplishment of his reign. Here the white marble mausoleum was placed on a terrace by the edge of the river and the garden was to its south. In the new city of Shah Jahanabad that he constructed in Delhi, the imperial palace commanded the riverfront.